Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This video is going to be a bit of a different one. It's not going to be this very planned out video. It's not going to be very curated. Uh, it's going to be more off the cuff. But the thing that remains is that it's still going to be of incredible value to a lot of you who are building a uh, you know social media marketing agency. Maybe you're you're thinking of starting one and you're wondering what do these people do on a daily basis, right? And what I want to do in this video is show you guys how I structure my day as an SMMA owner, especially during quarantine. What am I doing? to uh, keep my energy levels high and to still be productive, uh, you know, pretty, pretty much uh, locked at home. That is what I wanna show you guys today. Now, if you guys are OGs uh, in the channel, uh, you probably realized that I took off my monitor. Best, but you don't succeed. I'm actually trying things out uh, just with the laptop because one of the things that I found about having uh, both screens is that it leads to a lot of multitasking, right? And I'm just testing out whether I'm gonna be more productive um, with just my laptop and with just one single screen. And those are the kind of things that I uh, like testing out and just experimenting uh, to see whether my productivity actually goes up with just one single screen. And so I, I truly think that, you know, it looks uh, it looks less uh, aesthetic in my opinion, but um, but if it if it makes me more productive, then hey-ho, I'm gonna absolutely get rid of the monitor. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that I do is obviously I wake up, right? And so there's really four parts to my day. Number one is my morning routine. And so I'm gonna walk you guys through what I do there. Then the second part is my morning work block. And that's really the chunk of my work day, right? The, you know, pretty, pretty much 80%, 90% of the stuff that I'm gonna get done that day that is gonna move the needle forward in my business, in my, uh, in my life, is really gonna be done in that work block. And that's really the work block that takes care of me and my life really. Uh, and so that is my morning work block that I will, uh, will have lunch. And the third uh, section to my day is my afternoon uh, work block. I'll get into that in just a second, but that is the afternoon work block. Then I will have dinner. And then after dinner, I have a little a tiny work block of around an hour, an hour and, a, and a 30 minutes, uh, which I'll be walking you guys through. Uh, and so let's get right into it. The first thing that I do is I go through my, what I call the power hour. That is the first thing that I do every single day. That, that's really what I like to call my morning routine. I wake up at around 6.30, right? Um, you know, it's, it's anywhere from 6, you know, 15 to 6.30. I have this little uh, device. It's basically a wake up light integrated with like a, a, an alarm, right? And so it basically wakes me up and, and it's also uh, connected to uh, this pad that I have under my pillow, right? And so it basically tracks when I'm most awake, right? And then that's when it wakes me up. So if that's at 6.25, then it wakes me up then. I believe the max is 6.30. And so that is max, then I'll wake up. What I'll do is then I'll have a cold shower. Now I start with uh, warm water. If you guys are, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm sharing this, but I start with a bit of warm water. Um, simply because like, one of the things that I found is, is um, it got to a point where just like, I was pushing myself way, way too hard and uh, it wasn't great for mental health. And also like, you, you have to find a way to reward yourself. One of my little like rewards is just reward myself with a nice like, warm, hot shower, if I wake up refreshed, et cetera, et cetera. But then I switch that to uh, really cold water and that's how I'll, I'll end my, my shower. I'll do that for around a minute and a half, maybe around three minutes and then I'll hop off. Uh, that is my cold shower. Then the next thing that I will do is I will do my meditation, right? So I'll do my meditation that goes for around 15 minutes and then I will do my affirmations, visualizations and prayers, okay? And that will take me around 20 minutes, uh, basically visualizing my life the, the way I want it to be, writing down my affirmations, uh, what I stand for, and some of my goals for this year, uh, as well as just being grateful and, and praying uh, to God for the beautiful life that, uh, that uh, I've been blessed with, and, and really the people that I have uh, around me. So that is what I'll do, just get into uh, an abundance data, an abundance mindset. Um, and uh, after that, I will get into my morning work block. Okay, so that goes from, the, work, the morning work block goes from 8 a.m to around 1.30 p.m. The morning work block is basically for high, what, what I call high impact activities, okay? I'm, I'm in full production and creation mode. I'm working on new stuff, right? That's gonna move the new forward. I'm thinking, I have time to think, right? And um, what, what are some of this, the stuff that's gonna actually move the needle forward. Um, and basically I do one task at a time, right? And, and I'm working on big, bigger projects. It's not like little tasks here and there that just keep me busy, right? I see a lot of agency owners do that. I did this myself starting uh, out. You have so many different tasks, you know, maybe you have a list of like 20, you know, 30 tasks that you need to accomplish. And that's not really gonna move the needle forward. It's just, you know, it's, it's surviving, right? But it's not really thriving. It's not really thinking, how can you take things up a level? Um, and so that is what I do in that morning work block. For example, what I was doing this morning is I was working on a brand new training for my general manager who's gonna be joining the team because I really wanna expand the, the agency team, take on, take on way more clients as well, and really just build a bigger infrastructure that can actually lend itself to a lot of clients. Um, that's what I wanna do and that, that's really what I'm excited for this year. And so I'm, uh, I'm, doing, I'm putting together uh, trainings for my general manager and for the people that are gonna be 
uh, coming on board as well so that I can duplicate myself and I don't have to take uh, a ton of time training them up. And so they're gonna have this plug and play sheet pretty much um, and this step-by-step -step blueprints to have them do the tasks that they are accountable for. So that is what I'm working on right now. I was also working on a new funnel for one of our clients. Uh, now, the main service delivery that I do for my clients, obviously, you know, I've got a contractor in place. I'm hiring a copywriter as we speak. And so what I currently do for my clients is more strategy based, right? So I work on the main strategy. I build out, I, I basically draft the whole funnel for them. And that is really what, I, what, I, what I'm passionate about when it comes to digital marketing. Yes, I'm passionate about Facebook ads, but I like to think, you know, more big picture, right? Um, and, and I basically draft the, the whole customer journey in terms of like even like product fulfillment, uh, customer service, um, you know, for example, email marketing, I, I'll design the, the whole email marketing strategy. I will design the whole paid ad strategy. What is the type of ad copy? What is the type of creative that, that we're going to use at each um, level, et cetera, et cetera. And so that is what I'm working on for one of our clients. And that is what I was working on this morning. And then once that is done, what I will do is just a, a little workout. Uh, it's nothing huge, right? Right now I've got around three days that I do more intense stuff. Uh, I've got a, a static um, bike uh, at home and, and there I can do a bit of a, a bit of cardio, but basically my home workout reduces to a very basic, you know, push up uh, and, and some elastic bands, et cetera, et cetera. It takes around 10, 15 minutes. And after that, I am done. I take a quick shower and then I go and eat lunch. Um, and so I won't get into, into what I actually eat for lunch. So basically I will try to have foods with high glycemic index that I'm gonna be able to digest quite fast and get right into my second work block, which is all about communication and calls and just talking to people, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason why I only do that, because uh, you know I'll start at around 3 p.m. and go until 8.30 p.m. And that is when I have dinner, et cetera, et cetera. We'll talk about that in just a second. But once I get into my second work block, it's all about communication. It's all about uh, speaking to people, right? I do not want to do that in uh, during the morning simply because during the morning, I'm, I'm in this very logical state of mind where I'm just like getting to work, right? I'm getting to work, I'm thinking, uh, I am logical, I am working, I'm really in production mode. And when I talk to people, you know, I, it's a complete different uh, wavelength that you have to be on um, when you're, you know, just being social and you're trying to sign a, a client, for example, and you're trying to be charismatic, et cetera, et cetera. And I do not want to do that uh, before 3 p.m. And I, I definitely do not want to mix uh, those up. So that is what I recommend you guys uh, do as well. I really don't recommend you guys mix those two hours. I, I don't recommend you guys do um, production mode uh, as well as calls. I've done it in the past. For example, this morning, actually, I had a student around 10.30 uh, a.m., right? So it wasn't ideal, but um, if, if that's really the only hour that works for, for both, then I will do that. But usually I will leave all the calls after 3 p.m. and I will have a lot of calls, right? I will have client calls, right? So catch up calls, uh, strategy calls, uh, monthly performance calls, et cetera, et cetera. And I will leave, uh, for example, a, a little video here of what that looks like. Then I will also have team calls. I have four team calls a week, right? And I will leave here an example of what that looks like. I will also have discovery calls with new prospects. And I will also have right now, uh, especially, I will also have calls with uh, potential new hires, right? So we're going through, again, I told you guys, uh, we are hiring for a copywriting position and we've got a lot of applications. Right now, I've put the whole interview system in place. Uh, so my general manager is gonna go through the round one of interviews. Then I'm gonna jump on the round two of interviews, but it's still gonna be a lot of interviews. So that is also one of the things that I'm doing in the afternoon right now. So a lot of calls uh, and as well, a bunch of recordings, right? So right now, uh, as you guys can see, I'm recording this. And as we speak, it's around 5 p.m. So I will only do this in the afternoon. I will not do this uh, during the mornings. Um, but yeah, I will record for YouTube. I'll record a bunch for TikTok as well, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the afternoon uh, work block. Once I'm done with that, uh, and I'm gonna take a seat because I'm, uh, I'm getting tired. Okay, once I am done with that, I will then have dinner. Dinner is actually gonna be a larger meal. There's a lot of people that say, oh, you know, dinner should be very light, um, you know, because you're gonna gain weight, if not, whatever it is. I would personally recommend you guys leave the carbs and, and the low glycemic uh, foods for dinner, uh, simply because when you, uh, it just makes you sleep much better at night. And that way you're not uh, lethargic for work because after dinner, what I'll do is I will pull out this uh, right, bad boys right here, right? So my box light and um, this little guy right here, right? I've got this uh, these uh, set up already and uh, simply because I don't want to make excuses. So um, that's another thing that I would recommend you guys do to reduce complexity, to reduce all excuses, just have your uh, setup on point, right? So you don't have to uh, switch things up and you know, pull it out and just have like friction. Um, so I have it all out and basically if I, if I haven't had time to record my TikToks, I will 
sit down on this chair um, and record the uh, TikToks. Uh, if you guys are following me on TikTok, then uh, you've probably seen those. But usually on an ideal day, my uh, my after dinner um, work block, or actually it's, it's not even a work block, right? But it's mainly for just watching dumb videos. Uh, some, some obviously educational videos right now, I'm going through a Skillshare course uh, by Simon Sinek. Um, Skillshare has been one of the, the you know, one, one of those platforms that I've discovered as of late, and I'm actually quite enjoying it. So I'll go through a, oops, uh, I'll go through a Skillshare course that I'm uh, currently uh, ongoing. But I, I don't want you guys to think that you know I'm, I'm just in production mode and learning all the time, right? Um, in fact, I recommend that before you go to sleep, watch some dumb videos, just laugh and like just you know, free your mind a bit because then you're gonna sleep better and then you're gonna be ready for a, uh, a just a productive day the next day, and you don't want to burn out. You don't want to. You know, because I, I fall into the trap of um, of going way too hard. I fall in, into the trap of like, just honestly like overloading my brain uh, and my brain would constantly be going. I would not be able to get good enough sleep. My meditations would be off. Uh, so that is why I recommend in the evenings, just let go a bit. Don't feel bad because you're watching some dumb videos because I can show you most of the entrepreneurs that you see are telling you that they're working you know, 12 hours a, a day or 18 hours a day. They're probably not. Um, they're probably full of shit, quite, quite honestly. Uh, and if they are, uh, it's probably normally deep work. Um, and if they are doing deep work, then in my opinion, um, and I say this because I've fallen into the opposite, I've fallen into the trap, I definitely see the value of just laughing uh, and, uh, and freeing your mind. So that is what I would do in the evening. Um, uh, yeah, it'll just be a mixture of educational and uh, freeing my mind. And the final thing that I would do for that day is I would plan tomorrow today. So I would fill in my plan of attack uh, for, uh, for tomorrow. I will also fill in my peak performance sheet. But what that is, is basically a goal sheet. And on that goal sheet, I basically got sleep data, right? How well I'm sleeping. Uh, I've got how many pages I've read, for example. And that day, I've also got um, my uh, output percentage. So how much output did I get done that day? Um, what, what else do I have? Uh, doo -doo -doo. I've got my meditation sessions. I've got, um, oh, I've got this, so I've got this weight. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna show you guys, but um, I've got this, you know, scale. Basically measures my weight, measures my uh, body fat percentage and a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, and I will input that data just to see trends and patterns. And uh, that is pretty much it for my day. I will then um, put, basically I will slot in all the tasks that I have to accomplish into my calendar so that I know when I'm doing each task and that they're gonna get accomplished tomorrow. I will read a few pages uh, if I haven't done so already that day and uh, I will pass out. So that is that for my day uh, as a quarantine SMMA owner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did drop a like, it will help Satan with the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. Also, it's great seeing a lot of new faces on the channel lately. And so if you're new, welcome to this channel. Lastly, if you guys are interested in entrepreneurship, SMMA, et cetera, et cetera, I've got this free, private mentorship community called the Client Closers. It's a group of like-minded people looking to level up in life and scale their agency. So if you want to join that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.